Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here. Welcome back to another player build where I take a real NHL player as they are in NHL 14 and recreate them for your use in ESHL. So drop in games, club games, whatever you want. On the agenda today is uh, Paul Stastny. That's right, Paul Stastny, the man with the new contract. I'm kind of celebrating all the players that are on the move, big moves, you know? So hopefully we'll have some of these coming up uh, in the future just like this. Uh, we're doing Paul Stastny first because he is the most attainable one, or he is the the first attainable one. We did Chara last time, so Stastny this time. Let's head right in here. Uh, first things first, he's six feet tall, 205 pounds, all right? So you set your guy at that if you want a little bit more stability. You're going to like that a lot more, I think. All right. Paul Stastny, let's go to the hockey shop. So, plus 7 wrist shot power, plus 7 accuracy, and plus 5 power. You're going to do plus 7 speed, plus 5 speed, plus 7 agility, plus 5 agility, plus 7 excel, plus 5 excel, and then plus 7 passing, deking, and puck control. Okay? On to his attributes. 88 deking, 85 hand-eye, 88 offensive awareness, 89 passing and puck control, and then 85 wrist shot accuracy and power. On the defensive side, defense awareness at 84, face-offs at 92, I know that's quite a bit higher, but you want to win some face-offs in the ASHL, and stick checking at 82, okay? Defensively now, or athletically, sorry, acceleration and agility at 87, balance at 81, durability at 78, endurance at 83, speed at 87, and strength at 70, pardon me, 75. Now, most of those you can see are a little bit lower than what they actually are, but for the most part, we're pretty much bang on. So we're going to jump into a game here. I'm going to show you what he's like, and I'm going to give you my review. So I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys. So the game is done here. And, uh, well, it was dominating. 10-1 was the final. We had more goals than they had shots. Face-offs were 24-8. to uh, It was absolutely dominating. Look at the time on attack. 937 to 247. I think a lot of it had to do with being on a good team. You know, you get good teammates. Things happen. So, three stars. I bet you can guess who number one is. Yeah, that's right, me. Seven points out of a possible of ten. Not bad at all. Took ten shots. Delivered two good hits. The hit was so funny. Uh, I don't even... It probably doesn't count as a hit, but it was hilarious. And we'll watch it afterwards. Uh, goals. All right? All the goals. So, it started with this one by Bumpia. Won the face-off. Slapper right off of the draw. Look at that. Boom. Face-off. Got the assist. That was one of my assists. Uh, and then we scored again. This guy walks in and snipes. I didn't get a goal on that one. Uh, I'll continue on. They scored one. Uh, did I get an assist on this one? Yeah, I might have, but it happened before. Uh, here's one of my goals. Wrap around. These can, you can do all the time. It really has nothing to do with the player build itself. That was just a, a, just a solid, well-timed wrap. Uh, and then you've got this one here. Good feed from my buddy here. Puts me back door. I think it was that defenseman. It might have been the defenseman on that. Or it could have been. No, it was uh, the left winger. And he just finds me back door. I had no problem. Just spun around, centered myself, put it top shelf. So that was number two for me. Uh, this one here. Yeah, he just takes a shot, gets a good shot. Didn't get an assist on that one. Um, I think I may have got an assist on this one at some point. Don't know. Here's my third goal that I scored. I cut in. Just did my regular snipe. Here's a good view. Snipe, top shelf. I got hit, but that's okay. Got the goal. And then right after that, again, walked in and just sniped it. This guy gave me so much room to play. Look at this. Boom. One of their guys wasn't there at the time. That was part of the problem. You can see him standing over there in the face-off dot. So that was number four. And then this guy scored here. Uh, I did get an assist on this play. So there you have it. Now the hit. The hit I'm talking about. Let's see if I can find it. Hold on. Let's see if it shows up as mine. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> I love this hit. I lo My stick broke on a shot is what happened. So I'm stickless at this point. And I see this guy coming for the puck, so I'm like, okay, well, he might touch the puck. We'll set up in the hip check. <laughs> he, did a whole, he did a front flip. <laughs> front flip. <laughs> I love it. That was an awesome hit. I think that's probably the only one that registered as mine. Uh, I got hit a couple times. Uh, ooh. Let's see here. That looks like it. Yeah, that was it. Now, my review of the player. He's solid on his skates. He gets knocked down a couple times, but nothing major, really. Um, face-offs are really good because of the strength, his size, and his face-off skill. Obviously, 24-8, to 8, you can't argue with that. Uh, so, I mean, it's a great build. It's a lot of fun. And the one thing that I was really worried about was being uh, a bit heavier, you know, at 205. Am I going to fall out of the play? 
No, you don't. You still manage to stay with the play really well. You've got tons of speed being even at 87. It's unbelievable. It's actually a really, really solid build. One of the better center builds that I've built that hasn't been 90 speed. So... Anyway, it's really good. Let me guys, or you guys give it out. Give it a shot out there. Let me know what you think about it if you use it. Uh, put it down in the comments below if you want to see more of that, all right? So until next time, I'm Target Audience, and I'll catch you guys out on the ice.